This video is sponsored by Stay Here PH. by visiting facebook.com slash stayhereph Buen dia everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is M.A. And yun, magkakaroon naman tayo ng another episode ng Ask M.A. We're in sasabitin namin ang inyong mga questions. Okay, ngayon makakasama ko ang very special friend. Namit ko siya sa Boyag Bunda Talk Workshop. Sumari kayo doon sa mga next patches. So, medyo mahaba yung kanyang intro guys. So, huwag pasan siya, papasahin ko na lang, okay? So, he is a former seasoned marketing and advertising executive turned everything he wanted to be. Entrepreneur, book author, certified life coach, radio talk show host of Radio Inquirer, TED Talk speaker, and ABS CBN Adobe Studios face and host of Multimedia Life and Inspiration. Wow, hiniya na ko. Pero walang iba kundi Mike Sellis, everyone. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining me in this episode. Thank you for having me. Yes, napakaganda na ating topic for today kasi may mga questions kayong sinend dun sa isang video ko sa YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe. YouTube.com slash MAVUNDIAHD Kasi may video ko na in-upload ko earlier last year or this year lang about call center interviews or or job interviews. May mga nag-comment doon na tinatanong din ako about iba pang issues. Ano mga questions sila doon? Hindi ko naman talaga masagot kasi ang dami na ko comment. So ngayon, itatry namin sa Guteng or mabibigay kami na iba pang mga tips, okay? Kung paano kayo makakapasa sa job interview ninyo, okay? Alright, so our first question is from Tag Life Exodus. Sabi niya, Grrrm! It's my 10th time applying what to do with my F and B and TH. Sabi niya, I'm Ilocano and my grammar is hard as a rock. Some tips, please. Hindi mo siguro grammar to, parang siguro diction or pronunciation niya. Uh, hard as rock daw. So, ako, I believe it takes practice eh. Diba? Yeah. Parang regardless guys of how hard it may seem for you in the beginning, if you practice every single day and don't get frustrated, yeah. the moment you get frustrated, hindi po kayo mag-improve. Yeah, hindi ka mag-improve. So, yeah. just, uh -oh. just keep on ano, talking and uh -oh. practice talaga. Yun yung sinabi niya. Yeah. And then, sinabi niya kasi ito, I'm Ilocano. Wala naman kasi siya sa ano yung iba nga, diba sabi niya, Tito Boy, Dada, oh. may punto siyang waray. Pero over time, masasanay at masasanay ka rin. Oo, it's not really about your, ano bang tawag doon, yung lahi ba yun or whatever. It's not about that. It's how determined you are on how you want to, ano, become your best. And don't punish yourself kasi normal lang naman sa mga Pinoy na nagkakaroon tayo ng mga error doon sa F and V. Kasi wala naman siya sa alphabets natin. Pero, yun nga, i-correct mo lang yung sarili mo every time and then keep on speaking in English o kaya naman watch English shows or i-practice mo lang siya. And in relation to that, siguro, when you correct yourself, always keep an open mind. Dapat tanggapin mo rin na parang, oh, there's still room for improvement because that's the only way you can act. Yung iba kasi pag may feedback mo, Oo, may nagalit. Hindi ka paras. Kaya yung iba, hindi rin parang bawal. Kamali ka ng pronunciation. So, appreciate those people who actually tell you up front na parang, oh, mali ito. Or, as long as hindi ka naman talaga parang sinadyang ipahiya or whatever, i-ano mo siya, para maging open mind ka. Open mind, open heart. Yeah. It's the only way you would grow. Diba? Doon ka maging improve talaga. Yeah. Okay, next question natin. Ito na magbasa. Okay. From next question. Okay. Kailangan ba college grad or college level kung mag-a-apply ng call center agent? My English speaking is not quite good but I really want to apply. Oh, by the way, sabi niya, I love your video from Erin. Jagger? Eric Jagger, Jagger. Yeah. Thank you so much, girl. Uh -oh. Anyway, um, since ako nag nagtrabaho ako sa call center for three years, uh -oh. uh, may mga call centers na tumatanggap sila ng undergrads, pero kasi mm -hmm. nagde-demand sila ng parang at least meron kang call center experience. Ang weird mm -hmm. nga eh, no? kasi nagde-demand ka ng experience, and then, hindi naman nag-hire ng mga, new, mga newbies or ng mga sure. fresh grads, o kaya naman ng mga undergrads. So, paano magkakaroon ng experience? Pero yeah. sabi nila, kapag ganito, pag college grad ka or college level ka, ang magiging edge mo during the interview process or during the hiring process ay kung ano yung mga orgs na meron ka ah, in your college days. Or kaya okay. naman kung ano yung mga merits or kung ano yung mga certificates na meron ka, mga seminars na inatinan mo. Kasi wala ka pa parang history eh, di ba? Yung, yung nag-work ka before sa, sa corporate world, parang yeah. how did you manage na yung nag-apply ka? Um, at 
end of the day, guys, well, totoo, di ba? Kasi I was a broadcast communications major. Uh-huh. And my first job was really nasa advertising and marketing. Mm-hmm. Uh, no experience altogether. Yeah, di ba? But at the end of the day, guys, it's not really about your degree. It's about you wanting to do that job mismo. Correct. Correct. And exerting your efforts lagi. Mm-hmm. So, marami akong kakilala who have succeeded na iba yung degree nila yeah. sa pinapursue nilang career. May mga friends ako nun dati na yeah. ano sila, wala silang degree actually. So, under diba? Pero since iba yung... Kasi kapag nasa work na kayo, pantay-pantay kayo dyan na mag-start oh. sa training. May kita talaga nila, uh, minsan iniisip ko na insecure ko kasi wala kang ganong degree or hindi ganun yung skills mo or pangat yung schools na pinang... Y- yung school yeah, na, agree. Or pangat yung school Common misconception yun. Yeah, iniisip ko na kailangan na doon ka sa big four. Yes. Pero no, at the end of the day, it's still your work ethic your your dedication dun sa job yes. mo your professional your professionalism yes. yun yung magma-matter sa kanila at kung paano ka mag-mature dun sa company mm-hmm. so diba ah, ay lang na try right? yeah depende sa company ko ano yung gusto yeah. nila it's a minimum requirement for some kasi ang assumption pag college graduate ka you are equipped yeah. with, mm-hmm. with whatever skills they may need yeah. but it would not determine on how successful you would be in the correct team. Tsaka during the interview process, kung nakita nila na fluent ka naman na or very yes. conversational ka naman magsalita, confident, nakita man nila na parang yun dun yung, yung fire sa mata mo na yeah. gusto mo talagang matuto ng trabaho na yun or gusto mo mag-stay sa company na yun. yun. Diba? Bibigyan ka nila ng chance, okay? Yes. Especially ngayon na so parang in, yung mga BPO companies ngayon, diba gusto nyo mag, mag-trabaho sa call center, mm. they are in dire need of employees. So, imposible hindi sila mag-consider ng mga undergrads. Yes. Okay? So, just keep tra- keep on trying, girl. Okay, mayroon dito, out of topic. Off topic, yung uh, parang yung sasabihin. Okay, yeah. this is from Nick Dinopol. Medyo mahaba yung kanyang question. Sabi niya, I'm a fresh grad, mm. BS Information Technology, and I want to start a career as a call center agent. Is it possible that okay. the interviewer will ask the common questions like, why should I hire you even though I have no experiences? Or still, it depends on the interviewer on what should they ask the employee kapag nag-hire na sila. Ano ba yung parang unforgettable interview question mo na? Basic interview questions of which I normally ask also kasi I'm a business owner. Yeah, okay, the so, entrepreneur na siya. So. Oo, so normally I ask, again, tell me something that's not in your resume. In your yes. resume. Mm-hmm. Why? Para mag-isip ka. And guys, huwag niyo enumerate yung nakalagay na doon. Seryoso, pet horror right. ko yun. As in, tell something na very lifestyle-ish. Yeah. Diba? Something na baka magkaroon tayo ng common ground. Mm-hmm. Yun. Uh, ano pa ba? What's your worst trait? Oo. 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 Kasi, Kasi weaknesses, di ba? Weaknesses. Kasi guys, ang, ang gusto kong mangyari nyo is para alam ko kung paano ka tatanggapin if I do hire you. Yeah. Di ba? Para, it's all about acceptance din eh. So, At saka yung acknowledgement siya na ito exactly. yung shortcoming ko or ito yung parang opportunity. Yes, diba? yes, exactly. Wow, I love it. So, may mga questions na gano'n. Pero standard kasi yung mga tinatunan, why should we hire you? Yeah. Guys, do not mention yung things na feeling nyo gusto nilang marinig. Come from your essence. Come from your core. Your core. Oo na, what is true to you? Kasi mahalata nila pag binubullshit mo eh. I've had oh. interviewees, kasi di ba sa Facebook may mga nag-appear na parang yeah. how to answer questions. Ganyan, yeah, ganyan. may mga tips. So, medyo eh, pernaktis na ko. Pernaktis na nila. Oo, pernaktis nila. Same word per word. It was sa total ano. So, ang sabi kong gano'n sa kanya, oh, that's a very good answer. But what else? Yeah. Stop. Kailangan kasi nun improve eh. Kasi may mga natatalo yes. nila sa akin, sa akin ng ganyan. How would you answer sir yung ganitong question? Oh. And then, minsan, hesitant ako magbigay kasi baka kabisaduhin niya. And then, yes. the last thing that I want you to do is to give yung scripted response. Diba? Yes. Kasi, may kita naman yung interviewer yun. And then, paano ako pag nag-follow up question siya? Like, yung nangyari dun sa friend ko, para tinanong siya, what, uh, I mean, last movie yeah. ko so, sinabi niya na Harry Potter kasi nga hmm. parang, he liked the ano daw the book. So tinanong tinanong siya. So uh, have you read the last book? Yung kasi kakarilis pa lang yeah. that time, yung seventh book nung nung Harry Potter. So mm-hmm. tinanong na siya doon na parang sinabi niya na yes. So naglalay na siya. Oh Lung- my god. Don't 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 ipakita sa kanila na parang more confident siya kahit na medyo nahihiya ka pero yes. yung mga questions you cannot really prepare for them na may may, may answer ka na ready uh-huh. parang kailangan i-prepare mo lang yung instinct mo di ba kapag yes. tinanong sa akin and then you use context clues kapag sinabi na why should we hire you pumunta mm-hmm. ka dun sa parang because I want to grow I want yeah. to learn I'm... ano ba yung strengths mo sa person no yeah. one else can tell which one saan ka magaling, diba? Correct. Diba? I-highlight diba? mo sa kanya yung mga para pwede mong makontribute dun yeah. sa company na yun. Or kung ano yung as long as it's true, ha? Diba? <laughs> yeah. Especially, kunyari nag apply ka as parang data encoder. So, yung yeah. mga na parang you can type 50 words per minute, mm-hmm. diba? Imposible naman hindi ka pa nila i-hire yes. kasi yun yung kailangan nila. Pero siguro yung reminding natin, do not oversell. 
Yeah. Meaning, wag naman yung sobrang build up, pero pag nando na, mag-up yeah. kayo na parang, oh my God, it was the biggest blow that yeah, you ever yeah. seen. Eh, kailangan meron kang balance uh -huh. between yung being arrogant and then being humble then. Yes. Okay, so sabi niya, ito. Ayan. From... Ha, ang ganda naman ng mga pangalan nila. Mga pangalan dito, saan ba nakuha ng mga magulang natin? Okay. From Challenge Chain. Okay? Totoo ba ito? <laughs> okay. Try selling. How to answer? Try selling a bikini in winter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, parang, parang pag ano, yun, parang ano lang din ito, magsasell ka ng toothbrush, mga ganun-ganun, di ba? Uh -oh, yun, May mga natawag dyan, tricky question. Uh -oh. Oo. Mga... Okay guys, do not try to be very intellectual about it. Tip ko yeah. lang. Kailangan nyo ipakita mo rin yung meron ka rin yung sense oh, of being. Totoo! Ano, how would you answer it? Ako, I would answer it this way. How would you sell bikini in winter? Cold outside but you can still be hot inside. Oh, di ba? Yung mga ganun. Uh -oh. Okay naman kasi it's on sale. All yeah, right. ganun, di ba? Oh, very true. Kung ano yung hugot nyo, but it should be really true. Yeah. Parang balikan mo, parang, oh nga, no? kung ikaw ibentahan ka ng bikini na di naman summer, di mo naman kailangan yeah. siya, di ba? Bibilin mo siya. So, go back to your core. Huwag ko mag-overthink. Kasi ang interview kasi, gusto nila makita kung paano ka, gano'n ka ka-spontaneous, gano'n ka ka-fluent, gano'n ka ka-prepared. Saka, it's not how long your answer is, ha? Yeah. Na-notice niyo yung mga sagot namin. It was very short and crisp. Simply because you would lose the attention span of mm -hmm. your uh, interview. Saka, may kita nila na masyado ka ng, ano, parang masyado. Nagmagaling ka. <laughs> ang simple lang nun eh, kailangan pakitaan mo yeah. na siya na parang masyado kang comfortable. Okay? Yes. Kasi, di normally hindi naman talaga nila chinichat yung intellectual mo dito chinichat lang nila kung um, gano'ng kakabilis mo kisip eh, parang parang gano'ng yeah. kakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
may tanong po sana ako kapag ba new, newbie ka sa BPO industry, lagi ka magkakaroon ng graveyard. <laughs> Iba yung spelling dito, shift. Dapat, okay? Shift dapat. At kapag day shift ka, hindi ba ito stable na scan? Mas mataas po ba ang percentage ng graveyard shift agents kesa sa day shift? I just want to know, sir. Thank you very much in advance for your response. From Janine, Janine Lim. Natry mo ba mag-work sa graveyard shift? No, day yeah, job. Every day jobs, yeah. Kasi ako ah, um, nag-work ako sa BPO for mm. 8 years. Yung 3 years doon, call center. Ito talaga yung nagtitake ng calls. Ah. And then, I remember lang, a client namin, North America. So, kailangan mo match namin. Yung schedule namin, yeah, doon sa schedule oh, nila, yeah. doon sa mga counterparts namin doon. And then, if your question is, uh, kahit na naka-day shift ka na, may chance pa rin ba na mag-graveyard? Oo, kasi normally sa mga contracts, sa call center or sa BPO, you are amenable sa shifting schedule. Okay, when, oh. when we say shifting schedule, ito yung pwede ka maging mid-shift, pwede ka maging panghapon, hating gabi ka uwi. But it changes everywhere. Ah, uh, depends. Depends sa, sa, depends sa business need. Depends siya ah, doon sa okay. FTE, kung, yeah. depende kung kung saan ka mas kailangan, saan nila mas marami kailangan na tao. Yes. So normally sa amin nun, every 3 months, every month, which is nakakasila siya ng body clock. So sobrang daming adjustments sa gagawin ng mga tao na tatrabaho sa call center. And then kung may mga nakaka-relate dyan sa inyo ng mga nag-work sa call center, I'm sure alam niyo yung feeling na, na parang sanay ka na, na pang gabi ka talaga lagi, yeah. diba? Diba umaalis ka tapos yung sunset, tapos pa, <laughs> pa uwi ka, wala pang sunrise, so nakakapute kasi hindi ka na araw. Tapos hindi ka na iakasayin ka ng tanghaling tapat yung pasok mo. So mag-a-adjust na naman yung katawan mo. Una-una yung pagtulog and all that. Pero mayroon ding mga accounts, especially yung mga Australian Australian, accounts, yeah. Australian accounts o kaya naman uh, UK, British na day shift sila, mid shift or day shift, so mga hapon to, so gabi, hindi mo kailangan na magpuyat na magdamag. Pero kung North America, Latin America, no, 12 hours yung time difference, so kailangan mo talaga na uh, maging night shift. Okay, so tinatanong mo naman yung mas mataas yung percentage, yes, mas mataas yung percentage, kasi sobrang daming demands na coming from Latin America and North America. So Australia, kailangan i-negotiate mo pa siya, or kung may, minsan naman kasi may mga companies na nag-a-announce eh, it's a day shift. Yeah. Pero again, walang assurance doon kasi once you once you were hired by the company pwede ka nilang ilipat doon sa kung ano yung account na jahanap ng employees ako siguro ang mabibigay kong advice kay Janine is that choose whichever works for you meaning if you're a morning person try applying sa day shift muna yeah. and if you're a night person do ka sa graveyard shift yeah. ano? and then read the contract yeah. okay read the contract and then clarify everything with uh, the employer. Kasi kapag nakapag-sign ka na doon, hindi nag ina ka, girl, di ba? Nag-sign ka ng contract. <laughs> Goodbye! Ito ang nakakatin dati, yeah. parang nakalagay doon na parang, oh, Okay lang ba sa'yo na ma-assign ka sa mga ganitong air, mga ganitong site? For example, ma-assign ka sa Cubao, ganyan ganyan. Okay. Tapos syempre, darating din yung time na mag-close yung account o kaya naman may, may bagong project na kailangan dun ka ma-assign sa ganung lugar. And yung nag in na, na parang akin, go back to yung, go back to the time na hinahire ka pa lang nila na parang yeah. halos lahat ng conditions nila, oo ka na oo, okay. oo. Diba? Kasi kailangan mo ng trabaho, and then ngayon, <laughs> nagde-demand ka na. So, again, uh, isipin mo talaga before you sign or before you apply sa job kung na-meet ba niya talaga yung mga personal requirements mo. There's nothing wrong naman na mag-set ka ng sarili mong standards and limits kasi what if hindi nga healthy for you na magtabaha yeah. sa panggabi or hindi mo kaya ng lifestyle mo o kaya hindi kaya na, for example, you're, you have like uh, a daughter or a kid na parang kailangan na nandun ka. So, yeah, wag, wag ipili itong hindi carry, okay? Pero, Whichever works for you. Yeah, correct. Pero karamihan ng mga tao sa, sa, sa PPO, flexible. Okay, that's what I'm really proud of doon sa pinanggaling akong yeah. industry. Kasi talagang, as in, na-assign ng panggabi, ng pag-umaga. Yung oh. off ko ng dati, Wednesday, Thursday. Minsan na-assign kami noon na yung iba nalipat ng Cebu. Alam mo yun, sobrang flexible and then sobrang professional ng mga tao. So, kudos talaga sa mga tao sa BPO. So, kung nag gusto nyo mag-apply, gusto nyo pumasok sa industry nito, I'm just setting your expectation that it's really a cutthroat industry. So, exactly. you have to really... You have to love your job. Correct. Yun lang yun. Lang yun. Wala ka masyadong condition. Uh, so, yun, dadapit yeah. ka din dun sa level na ikaw na yung magda-demand ng mga yes. gusto mo. Nandun ka sa level na parang, no, I cannot take this. Kasi, alam mo yun, nakapag-save ka na. Or, alam mo yun, nakapag-save okay, ka na. na. Okay, yeah, pero, ka na. Especially kapag fresh grad, take everything kasi of course you will learn from it and then you will actually expose yourself dun sa mga doon mag-build yung discipline mo doon ako na ano ang dati na trabaho sa call center mm. fresh grad kasi talagang na-build lahat ng confidence ko calm skills, yeah. confidence pati yung pagsunod mo sa mga schedules noon alam ako nung dati new year pumapasok kami sa office yeah. so everything that you're going through is basically preparing you to become your hashtag best me ever correct speaking of hashtag best me ever 
<laughs> yan po ang kanyang book ni Jeremiah yes. Sellis. Please go ahead and grab a copy ng yes. kanyang book. And then you have a radio show pala, ba? Yes, every Saturday night. So it's 10.30 to 12 a.m. Radio Inquirer 990 DZIQ. And you can also check out my YouTube channel. I also have one. It's hashtag best me ever TV. Please subscribe. Okay. Yes. So, so that's it for today's video. I hope you've learned something. And if you have some comments, please go ahead and put them down below. And then please give yes. this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And see you on my next video. Bye. Bye guys.